here is my water heater. I'm just checking the thermal pile reading on it. You can see I'm getting 464 millivolt. So that should be good. You can see the LED blinking once every three seconds. That means the thermal pile um, is getting heated by the pilot flame and then it generates the voltage uh, to uh, indicate to the gas valve that everything is working. Now the modern heater, water heater and boiler, it has all this information here and it will tell you what's wrong with it when the system malfunctions. So basically you see zero here is uh, pilot is out, one is normal and uh, two is uh, thermal pile voltage low, uh, three is not here, three flashes just means the thermal pile is working. Four is uh, high temperature shutdown. Five is temperature sense of failure. Seven is the, the gas control valve is, uh, is malfunctioning. And then eight, flame sensor error. So it tells you. The only other thing, um, there's a circuit breaker in here. If that trips, then the water heater wouldn't run. And um, well, maybe I'll show you. So this pick up the shield here. Let's see here. Yeah, this is the the flame switch or the door switch or whatever you want to call it. When this fails, the uh, it'll break the um, continuity here, and you can reset it by pressing the black button there. But resetting it wouldn't solve your problem necessarily because it trips obviously for a reason. So you have to get your plumber or, what, or whomever to come and and and, um, and fix it. It could be dirty, it could be the flame arrested inside could be dirty. Uh, it could be a lot of problems or so overheating, some kind of uh, overheating. So you wouldn't just uh, take it for granted and just press it and uh, and go away. All right, uh, the boiler. This is a Burnham US boiler, 140,000 BTU gas boiler. And when the heating season starts, I turn it on, flip the switch on. Um, there was heat, but it wasn't working correctly. I had to bleed the radiators. Um, and like the water heater, it has a control panel here that will uh, tell you what's wrong with it. Okay, so uh, here's the control board for the water heater. Uh, it tells you what's wrong with it, uh, it when that there is something wrong with it. Uh, on, on here you have this status numbers and on here you have the error codes. You, you don't have to remember them because you can just look at, look at the numbers here and it will tell you what's wrong. And you have the LED indicator here. There are three buttons here, one, two, one, two, three, and if you were to reset the settings, then you press all three of them together and you can reset the parameters like the water temperature and uh, other uh, settings. But I'm not going to do that and, and you probably shouldn't do that either. So just uh, run at the default uh, settings. But you could check and see what is uh, wrong and it will tell you. Like uh, as I was telling you before, there was something wrong with uh, short cycling. 
and it gave an error code ERR and then 4 and with that that means number 4 here Let's see Let's get the light here oops number 4 is flame current lower than threshold so that was my problem uh, because the flame sensor igniter uh, was not working correctly it wasn't sending enough flame current to so the gas valve will shut off and it will retry uh, to uh, proof the flame and if the flame is not proven then it will shut down again a number of times three or four times and then it will lock out for an hour and the lockout code is 63 soft lockout maximum recycles exceeded so after an hour it will try again it will go to um, try to start up and and, uh, and then of course my problem was the flame current would, would get low again and then it will shut up and then it keeps doing that so the problem uh, the answer to that was to replace the uh, flame sensor igniter. That was status code 1. 1 means the unit is on standby. I'm going to just sc scroll through them. BT is uh, boiler temperature, now is at 88. Uh, set, set point is 180. High limit is also 180 and HDF is the high limit differential which is 15 degrees so it wouldn't fire until the water level drops to 165 uh, degrees TT is the uh, heat status of the thermostat it's not calling for heat that's why it's off and DH let's read here DH is heat request status that's the domestic hot water and then you have flame sensor again it reads in micro amps right now it's not on so it's zero and then run is runtime hours cycle is how many times it cycled and error and then ERR is error and it's now it's back to one so the control board tells you what is wrong with the gas boiler and a lot of time the problem is with a flame sensor um, being dirty so I bought an extra flame sensor igniter this is like a spark plug the spark plug cable goes on this end and um, that's the electrode and an extra unit this is a QA 345 and this is QA 345L so you see the flame shield is like towards the left so yeah this is about $26 of course there are many other problems uh, uh, it could be your your vent damper not working it could be your low water sensor if it's an uh, older unit uh, I'm going to uh, turn the thermostat up and you can see the unit running okay the boiler should be starting up and you can look at the sequence you see 17 18 17 was self test 18 was uh, waiting for damper to open and then you would have ignition. You should hear that. Hear that uh, too. Yep. You you hear the uh, buzzing. So that was a spark plug igniting. And when the flame is proven, the main gas valve will turn on and you have uh, the boiler running so let's check the flame current it will start up at start up at 12.5 it stays between 
13 to 16, that means you have a good reading of the uh, of the flame sensor. So th this is measured in microamps. Uh, on some of the older control boards, you would have to hook up your meter in series with the ignition wire here to measure the microamps. With uh, the new unit, yeah, you, you got the microamp reading here, right? So while this is running, I'll talk about the rest of the system. I have, uh, this is called a flood stop. This unit here will shut off the water heater when there's a leak. And it's done by this wire here that at the bottom there, there's uh, the contact points. It, it senses moisture or there's water on the floor. It will send a signal to this shut off valve here. It's a little motor here, DC motor, and it will turn off the water supply to the hot, uh, to the hot water heater. So that is powered by um, AC and also battery backup. So you just plug it into the wall. Uh, I have a carbon monoxide sensor here. I have a uh, gas sensor near where my gas comes in to the basement. So you have a nice clear blue flame. So you have this sparkler cable. This cable is also pretty expensive. This is like I said not the original. The original is sort of like a regular wire wrapped in uh, and uh, insulating sleeve. This I'm not sure if it's a seven millimeter or eight millimeter spot plug cable. Sell for like forty, fifty dollars. Uh, I'm not sure why it's so expensive. You can probably use re regular ignition wire and just put the crimping connectors on there, and and you have a you have the ignition wire. And yeah, there's nothing really special about these except that they can be dangerous. If all the plumbing, you really have to uh, have them done by a professional because if you have any leaks, then you're going to have a problem. You have the problems could be your damper control, your circulator pump low water cutoff, your expansion tank, your air vent, and any one of those can can be a problem, but most likely it's your flame sensor. This is the flame sensor, $27, and um, have one on hand so your plumber can replace it for you. And the control board, $150. The older units are cheaper, but this is much more sophisticated. And it's like some of the refrigerators uses the control board. And when the refrigerator doesn't work, a lot of times it's also the control board that is the problem. So the gas valve uh, doesn't go bad that often as far as I know and the boiler usually can last a long long time All right, remember any surfacing, let a professional plumber do it. Thanks for watching.